Hey guys, so this is going to be first impressions um, review slash review. Um, and this is actually for the CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector Mattifier. Um, and it just says number 100 soft, soft touch balm. It looks like this. And I actually have not opened it because I actually wanted this to be a true 100% first impressions video. Now the reason that I picked this up was I had heard I follow a blogger, like a drugstore um, beauty blogger, and she had said that this was very similar to the Mali, um, I don't even know what she calls it, but it's very similar to this, like the packaging, not the packaging, but just the way the actual balm looks like. It's basically, to me, it looks like a skin primer. And what intrigued me about this was not only did it was it a dupe for the Mali one, which you can find at I believe QVC. I don't own any Mali products, and I wouldn't be able to tell you if it's comparable to that one or not. But the reason that I picked this one up was a I wanted to try it out, and b it almost looked. It, I wanted to see how it compared to the Benefit Doctor Feel Good which looks like this, and I had talked about this in a previous favorites video. Inside looks like that. This is more like a yellowy tint to it versus this one's very white, as you can see. But I had mentioned in a previous um, favorites video that I really did like this. I had purchased this after watching um, Michelle1218 here on YouTube, and I didn't use it like after I purchased it, I didn't even use it right off the bat. And then one day I was just kind of organizing my makeup and I kind of rediscovered this and I really do like this. And I even mentioned in that video that I liked applying it with the Sigma Round Kabuki F82, which looks like this. It's a really, well, it's a really dense um, Kabuki brush. And what I do is just, I just kind of throw my brush in there and then I just kind of, you know, do all, all my face and then I do now I do this after my moisturizer like face moisturizer and then I'll do um, whether it's powder foundation or liquid foundation so my main purpose of this video was to honestly give you a first impressions but I also wanted to see if maybe there was a drugstore um, dupe to the benefit one this one I believe retails for $30 at Sephora and I believe Ulta also carries Benefit and Macy's. And then this one retails for $6.99. Now I did purchase mine at um, Target, which tends to be a little cheaper than your you know, drugstore like CVS or Walgreens or whatever. Because I believe at CVS I, I saw it like for $9.99, which is a little bit more expensive. I just always try, even though I don't know what's going on, but where I live in Northern California, Usually drugstores always have like the new stuff first and then it takes I don't know Target and Walmart about a month to kind of catch up with drugstores um, So although I see a lot of this stuff like new stuff at drugstore I always try to wait if I really want a product and I'll wait to like Walmart or Target carries it because it's usually like a few bucks cheaper but anyway, so the packaging kind of you know if you were to ask me it's a little bulky it could have been less bulky compared to the you know it's a little itty bitty tin compared to the benefit um dr feel good and it's just a clear obviously lid and i believe this one has 7.7 .7 grams versus 24 grams so obviously you're getting more product in the um, Dr. Feel Good by Benefit versus the um, CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector. So that's a little just comparison. Now I'm just rubbing my finger. Um, it doesn't have any scent at all. And if I was to compare feel wise, touch wise now I'm using a different finger um 
I would say the Benefit one is a little bit thicker than the CoverGirl right off the bat. Um, the CoverGirl one feels a lot thinner versus this one feels more like a thick balm. Um, which I, I would say I don't mind the texture of either one. You know, they're both very silky. Um, the only difference that I can see is the CoverGirl actually is absorbing a lot quicker to my, I'm just, you know, using my hand as an example, but I can say if I was to run out of the Benefit one, and like I said, this is $30, it's a lot more product than this one, the packaging, I would prefer the Benefit one, but let's say I was to run out of the Benefit one, and which I do love, I would probably repurchase um, the CoverGirl one. That's just my own opinion. Everybody might feel different, but it does feel a little lighter, and it just it does seem like it absorbs a lot quicker than the Benefit one. So that's just my first, and it also does come with a little sponge applicator, which the Benefit also comes with the very exact same um, applicator, which I just tossed because I just rather use my brush. I'm not a very big fan of the spongy applicators with these kinds of products or even powders or whatever have you. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and very quickly, like I said, that was my main thing of why I purchased this product was that I wanted to compare um, to the Benefit one, and like I said, it's a lot cheaper. Um, drugstore, there is a little bit less product than the Benefit one, but I mean, you get what you paid for, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of first impressions, um, review slash comparison, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.